I'm Ashley Godin, and today we're spending five minutes with President of the Young Liberals of Windsor, Caroline Jacobson. So Caroline, how did you first get involved with politics? Well, uh, I became interested in politics back when I was in grade school. Uh, in grade six, we had uh, the, pol the uh, political science unit, uh, and then I watched the uh, liberal leadership convention in grade seven, and I decided I was a liberal, and uh, it took me from then until my first year of university to actually get involved with the club, but I followed liberal politics from, from grade seven till university. And what do the uh, young liberals do here in Windsor? Uh, well, during the elections, we provide election support, you know, like door knocking, phone calling, canvassing, uh, supporting the candidates in whatever way we can. Um, but when there's not an election going on, which is quite a bit of the time here, we try to be active members of the community. So uh, doing some charity work, maybe serving food at the downtown mission, just helping in whatever way we can to be active members of the community and show that we're not just here when we need people's support during an election. Okay. And um, do you think that your age gives you an advantage at all when you're campaigning? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I think sometimes uh, people are really intrigued to see someone so young at the door. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments on that, you know, like it's great to see young people out in the community, uh, being involved in politics and caring about what's going on in the community. Um, yeah, I think it does give us some sort of advantage. I think that people aren't so fast to close the door on us. They want to kind of hear what we have to say. And, you know, what could someone your age possibly know about politics? And then you kind of surprise them by some of the knowledge you have. So, and bringing personal stories as well is really important. So why is it so important that we get young people out to vote during elections? Well, it's really important to get young people out to vote because if young people want anything from their politicians, they have to vote and show that, uh, that they care. So, uh, for example, we saw with the provincial election that the uh, Ontario Liberals were offering 30% off tuition uh, as part of their platform. And so uh, by young people coming out in large numbers to vote for that election, it proved that young people do, in fact, care about what goes on in politics and we can make a difference. And we see a lot of um, like policies geared towards seniors because they vote in large masses. Like We don't have that kind of thing with the youth. So. Mm -hmm really important if we want things done for the youth in the community we need to vote and we need to prove that we care. And we know that um, equal rights marriage and marijuana legalization were policies put forth by young liberals back in the day. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you're currently working on? Well we're currently working on legalization of marijuana so um, we uh, just passed the resolution um, at the biennial convention in January that we wanted to include it in our platform uh, and we have to wait until, of course, we have government to do that, whether or not it's majority or minority, but the next election is not for another three years, so we have to wait for that. But we're currently working on it, kind of spreading the word, and hopefully it makes a difference in the next election, whether or not people really care about the policy <laughs> issue or not. All right, and we've seen a lot of candidates in the last few weeks um, step up to the plate for Ontario Liberal leadership, right. such as um, Sandra Pupatello. Can you tell us who you're rooting for? I'm supporting Sandra. I think that uh, a strong Windsor leader would be great as a premier. I think it would be so exciting for the community and bring so much energy. And when Sandra was even a cabinet minister in Windsor, look at all the, the advancements that happened here in the city. And I, can't, I can only imagine what would come to Windsor if we had a premier here. Do you see any political aspirations in your future, such as running for prime minister? Well, I don't know about prime minister, but <laughs> I'd love to run one day, maybe in the very distant future when I have a lot of experience, but uh, yeah, for sure, I'd, I'd love to run. But like I said, uh, I really want to um, make sure I have something to offer the community. I don't want to run on an empty list of experiences, so I'd want to make sure I get really educated and have lots of experience. <laughs> now, you worked for Dwight Duncan this summer um, up in Toronto. Can you mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about that experience? Yep, yeah, so uh, I was an intern, a uh, political intern, uh, and I worked at uh, the Ministry of Finance up in Toronto at Queen's Park. Uh, it was an amazing experience to get to work with some really high up people in the provincial government and interact with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, at the end of the summer, I also helped out on the Kitchener-Waterloo by-election, which was also really mm -hmm. exciting. So there was a lot of great experiences this summer. Great. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Ashley Godin, and we've just spent five minutes with Caroline Jacobson, President of the Young Liberals of Windsor.